We're very fortunate in the lymphoma world at the moment to have a lot of promising new agents and there are some very interesting trials that are, have either started or are about to start. Probably one I would mention is in the frontline diffuse large B cell uh, arena uh, and that's the Polaric studies. That's looking at polatism abvodotin, uh, an anti-CD79B antibody drug conjugate in combination with R-CHUP, so that's um, R-CHOP uh, but without the vincristine. Uh, and that's being compared with standard R-CHOP. Now, you know, the literature recently has become littered with frontline diffuse large B-cell trials challenging R-CHOP, and they haven't so far shown uh, um, positive outcomes, or most of them haven't. So, but polytismab looks very encouraging in the relapsed refractory arena, so I think we await the outcome of that trial uh, eagerly. Uh, it's just in the early stages at the moment globally, and the UK has several sites that will be on board, so that'll be interesting. And then perhaps in the relapsed space. Obviously CAR T cells are much uh, discussed, very innovative and interesting um, new technology with clear activity in relapsed refractory diffuse large B and not many things have activity in relapsed refractory diffuse large B and perhaps one of the trials that I think is most interesting is um, a trial which is comparing um, an autograft approach which is very much the standard of care in younger fitter patients with relapsed refractory diffuse large B with a CAR T cell approach so they're actually using CAR T's to challenge our standard of care at first relapse and I think that sort of trial really has to happen in order for CAR T cells with all their attendant toxicities and financial costs uh, to actually become um, used uh, in, a, in a standard way um, certainly in our healthcare system so I think that trial is brave um, but needed uh, and will be a very interesting study.